Uh, I've been involved in this stuff um, for a number of years. It's very exciting. This is new. Uh, and today I hope to share some, uh, some more information uh, about uh, what we've been doing here at East Carolina University. Well, what I'd like to do today uh, is talk about the octave band uh, stimulus uh, that uh, is in the Adara. And um, so in terms of the objectives, this is kind of the big picture, and I'm going to go from big picture and then get into data and then um, get into the specifics a little further in. But what I really want to do um, is to let you, first of all, get a, an appreciation for the stimulus uh, compared to uh, the traditional tone burst. Uh, and that's going to help uh, you understand the data when we get into it and why things uh, look a little different. Um, and then certainly, uh, a big chunk of the data that we've done in a huge project here is looking at uh, the differences in the auditory brainstem response to uh, air conducted uh, chirp octave band and the, uh, the traditional cone burst stimulus in newborn infants. And I will share that data. And then I'll also show you some data that we gathered uh, with adults. And uh, we'll compare uh, the uh, infant uh, and adult. Uh, chirp off band uh, data. So that's where we're going today. And I'm going to frame this uh, in terms of really um, where this stuff, first of all, fits in, in terms of what I call the big picture. And I'll go over uh, a little bit of background for that. Uh, and then I'll get into the specifics about um, our data. And then I want to share uh, some interesting data uh, that was just published last year in terms of where um, the field's going and where, as a clinician, you may want to be looking in the future um, to uh, help you in your assessment of uh, newborn infants. And then uh, I'll give you my two cents worth uh, at the end um, in terms of uh, rounding things up and, uh, and uh, putting things in, in uh, perspective. 